hospitals. Making sure we have this hospital available is a testament to the work and the brilliance of many people. Wake up! Ugh. Quick, there's a man! What is it, nurse? He has the flu. My God. Not the man flu. This is, uh, in fact, <laughs> even better. Freude, schöne Goethe, Finken. Anyway, you, gonna, you know. That's right. What's the status? John O, male in his 30s, a girlfriend called 111 this morning when he woke up complaining of a sore throat and wouldn't stop talking about it. How long has he been sick? Only since this morning, but he's been acting like it's been an entire week. He could barely get off the couch when we arrived. John O, Dr. Boyce, how are you feeling? Terrible. I've got a runny nose. <sighs> Temperature? Barely elevated, but he keeps asking for a cold flannel. Sweetie. I've got a fever. I want a hot chalky a bath and a fluffy pillow. OK, team, this is Jono. Male, suspected man flu. I don't understand. I had a cold last week and I still went to work. What is wrong with her? Someone needs to calm her down. <laughs> Chest is clear. I've got a cough. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this. But you have man flu. Oh, God. But I thought he just had a cold. He does just have a cold, that's great. I've got so much life to live. We are doing everything we can, okay? Babe, you gotta get my will. I'm gonna die. Not on our watch. Obviously not, he's barely even ill. Watch it, Dr. Crossman. You do not want to cross the line. Someone pull the life support! End it! He's not even on life support. You just have a harmless cold. Physically, you're barely even sick. Behaviorally, you're a bit of a nightmare. He wanted a cold flannel! Wow! Mummy! It was needed of how the impossible could be made possible and how we can achieve the unthinkable through human will and ingenuity. Hey! Jono, honey! Oh, God, I came as soon as I heard. I'm gonna die. I'll make sure that you get everything that you need. Stal stalking the whole world. The fact in this country that we have the NHS is even more valuable than ever before. And I think Blinky is right here. Oh. Oh. Hi, so, so sorry to interrupt. I was just wondering with some of mine looking at this. Oh, someone get her out of here. We are dealing with an emergency. Stop. What? Hey, you started it. Yes. Come on, Boris Johnson, you get better. I think that the project, in close collaboration with the army, who've been brilliant, Come on, you fuckers! Get out your doors, come on! Let's clap the Boris Johnson! With the private industry who have stepped up to the plate, with the many generous offers of support and donations, make... That's it! Come on, <laughs> Boris Johnson! Good, Jake! Making sure that we have this hospital with up to 4,000 beds, the equivalent of 10 district general hospitals. I've just been shot in the arm. <sighs> Sorry, I've be I've been man shot in the arm. <gasps> oh my god. My friends, we export French knickers to France. French knickers made in this country. Hey, come on, Paris! What was your reaction when you saw that shocking picture of Jack Willamette, the four-year-old, on well, the floor of a hospital? I have abs every possible sympathy with, uh, with families and patients. How did you feel when a, you saw the photo, uh, Prime don't have a, uh, a good experience in the, in the NHS. And, uh, and we begin this half hour with the news that the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, has now been discharged from hospital. As we've been